In this video, we will see how an air suspension works. Some cars come with suspension systems that can be raised or lowered, depending on the need. This system is called hard adjustable suspension. Usually low slung sports cars and SUVs come with height adjustable suspension. The first instance of the production vehicle with adjustable suspension was on Citroen 15 CVH. This vehicle featured a self-leveling, height adjustable hydrop pneumatic suspension. Sports cars need to have low ground clearance for better aerodynamics to increase traction and fuel efficiency. However on poor roads and speed bumps, their ground clearance can cause the car to bottom out. This can damage their expensive body panels, as well as damage mechanical components on the car. This is where height adjustable suspension steps in. In such situations, the nose of the car can be raised, so that your valuable property does not scrape its nose over a speed bump. SUVs feature height adjustable suspension for further increasing their height for off-roading. On the road, the suspension is lowered to reduce body roll, better the drive dynamics and comfort of the car. A SUV driving on a lowered suspension also becomes more economical as a lower car creates lesser drag. Today, pneumatic units are commonly used in these cars. So we will see about the working of pneumatic system behind this suspension. The first important part of this system is air compressor. The location of air compressor varies from vehicle to vehicle. Most commonly it is located at boot area or behind the front wheel on the main frame. An air suspension compressor consists of an electric motor that drives the compressor. It is switched on and off by a relay controlled by the ECU. An air filter is also attached to the compressor that filters air which enters into the compressor. This compressor compresses air and sends it to the storage tank. This storage tank is mounted on the frame behind the front wheels or it is located under the boot area. The second main component was valve block. This valve block is located along with the compressor. This valve block controls the direction of airflow inside the system. The valve block uses air tubes to connect every component of the system, such as compressor, storage tank and air springs. Finally, the shock absorbers with air springs. The suspension struts and shock absorbers of the air suspension system are similar to a conventional type, but the metal coil springs are replaced by air springs. These air springs are made up of durable rubber with a premium multiply cross corded construction to provide a long lasting structural integrity. These air spring suspensions are two types, bellow type air suspension and piston type air suspension. Bellow type air spring looks like an automobile tire or two or three tires stacked on top of one another. Here the shock absorbers, metal coil spring is simply replaced with air spring. The top and bottom of the air springs are sealed with O-rings between the shock absorber body and springs. This type of bellow consists of a circular rubber having two convolutions for the proper transition when compressed air is filled or released. The valve block sends the compressed air from storage tank to air springs. Air can be released from air spring to lower the height of the car and it is inflated again to increase the height. This can be controlled manually. And also automatically by ECU according to the road's condition. A piston type air suspension is similar to bellow type. 
but instead of convolutional bellows, a rolling sleeve type bellow and piston is used. This suspension also holds a height sensor on each shock absorber. As it sends signals about change in height of the vehicle to ECU. This type of air suspensions are used in most premium cars. As we've seen there are many benefits in using their suspension, that height of the vehicle is changed for better off-roading with high ground clearance, and for better fuel economy with low ground clearance. But, it has some disadvantages too. The cars use this air suspensions, needs high initial cost, and also it needs high maintenance cost, over the period, because of leakages in billows, or leakages in airlines. And also air compressor may get mechanical issues, and it may fail. This may cause huge cost to repair or replacing parts. And this air suspension systems are more complex systems, and they require larger areas to operate. Now we completed discussing about air suspension parts and its working. We'll be back with next interesting video. Thanks for watching.